what is Gucci everybody on YouTube the so first and foremost I do want to thank you guys for checking out my video today what I want to do is I want to show you guys a pickup that I got yesterday and then a pickup that I got a couple weeks ago in the mail now I previously done a video for the last two items but they were smaller items so I thought maybe I could just throw it into this video in that video I also did go on a bit of a rant and to basically sum up what I was trying to say is that we as a community like streetwear enthusiasts and sneakerheads when you stop hating on each other and the reason why I say that is because I've been seeing a lot of people like comment on other people's stuff the way that I look at it is that if you're not gonna be a part of the solution then please don't be a part of the problem mind your own business and if you want to take an L take an L that's your deal that's not everyone else's deal anyway enough of the spiel first things first that I want to show you guys is going to be BAM I do want to talk about Nike's recent campaign and I've been doing a lot of stuff with the Air Force One trying to bring it back and as you guys can tell like it has been pretty big for a while now but it's kind of coming back and starting to pop more up into like streetwear I was in high school what I used to see is dudes wearing like baggy blue jeans and like a jersey and then they'll have a pair of white Air Force Ones on and I remember being in high school I hated Air Force One I would never be caught dead in a pair I think the only time I ever had a pair was when I was a little kid and they were the ones with the straps on them I'm not making fun of it though because I do have the flax ones and you know it's the same thing they had a campaign recently where it's like the Travis Scott ones the Rockefeller the acronym I think there's just on I could be wrong and then the off-white so yesterday while I was at the mall shopping for my girlfriend I was trying to find her a pair of shoes and then as I was at Foot Locker the guy picks up a pair of Rockefeller Air Force Ones and says, hey bro you should buy these not only do I find it kind of funny that he just kind of put it in my face and said yeah these are really cool you should buy them like someone else at the store said I should buy them that also worked there and I don't know I guess they did their job right because I ended up buying them so here they are right here is the Rockefeller Air Force One as you can see it's pretty much just a white Air Force One <laughs> actually it is just a white Air Force One but it's kind of like a white Air Force One on crack now the reason why I say that is because if you let the camera focus you can see how tumbled the leather is and that tumbled leather goes throughout the entire shoe it actually is the same exact leather that's on all the Jordan ones that are coming out recently my entire top row over there has that really tumbled leather and I actually kind of like it. On the original white Air Force Ones, I feel like the leather is a little bit hard and it's kind of like a Jordan 5 where it's that plasticky leather. So I really like that on this pair. They made it very like almost a premium feel and you can kind of tell in the price too because just that little thing right there added an extra 50 bucks or 60 bucks. The other ones could be $90. I don't know. All I'm saying is that these ones were 150 Now I have been looking for a pair of white Air Force Ones for a while now so I'm really happy that this is you know the pair that I picked up because it's kind of unique. I really like the stitching that they have on the back. I think that looks sick. Let's get a thumbnail. So yeah, I'm not going to do an on feet for you guys because literally just a white Air Force One. But I did want to show it to you guys and let you know that I really like the Air Force One campaign that's coming out. My only concern with it is that all of the Air Force Ones kind of look the same except for the Travis Scott ones. All the other ones are just white Air Force Ones with like little tiny touches on them. But besides the Travis Scotts, these are my favorite. So, you know, that's why I picked it up. They even have the little Rockefeller thing on the inside. So, good pickup. Probably going to wear these all the time new beater just kidding you can't really beat these up you kind of have to have a pair of these for every single weekend you know especially if you're living in ny another pickup that i got yesterday is these guys they're not for me they're for my girlfriend so i don't really care showing you guys because she already knows i got them for her i myself have the high top pair but i kind of wish that i got the low top ones because these are kind of ill other than that i did want to show you guys this guess asap rocky collab tee that i got now this one is still ds i don't know why I haven't worn it yet. I think it's because it's a short sleeve and it's cold outside. As you can see, it's just a striped tee. I think it was the Bodega exclusive, but then they released it online as well. So shouts out to Daniel for letting me know. That right there is why we spend mad cash on this. This one is just one with blue, yellow, and orange stripes going down it. I haven't worn it yet. I kind of want to. If not, then my homie Aiden's going to buy it. I haven't really decided yet. I think it's cool. I just haven't had a chance to wear it yet. The other one that I did pick up, I have worn a couple times and I do really like it. This one's really cool. I really like the stripe pattern because it changes as it goes down and it kind of all blends together really nice. Again, while we pay a lot for that shirt. Yeah, this one is probably my favorite out of all of them. It sucks that I accidentally ripped the size tag off of it, but you know, whatever, we'll live. Focus, focus, focus. But yeah, aside from just showing this to you guys, I do want to talk about how much I hate gas for the shipping. <laughs> I paid for two day shipping and it came a week later. So, you know, it's kind of a bummer because I could have gotten free shipping since, you know, that's over a hundred dollars. Anyway, besides like me complaining about that, I do really like the tees themselves and I bought them in an XL so they can be oversized and they looked sick.
make today really quick just because I haven't uploaded in like a week. I appreciate you guys for checking out my video. If you haven't followed me on my Instagram, SoundCloud, uh, Twitter, it's I Hate Brian D, just like my YouTube. I put out a new song recently, so please go check that out. If you guys haven't subscribed already, I would appreciate it if you do. I want to be making videos very often now, and I do have some pickups that I want to get for the holiday season, so, you know, I want to show that stuff off too. Just stick around, tell your friends to follow, and if you hate me, then thank you for watching my video anyway. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace.